Hello my dear students, this is the third video of chapter 2 of class 4 that is food and digestion. So in the last class we did the journey of food in which we learned different types of organs included in digestive system of humans. So in today's lesson we will be doing rules for healthy eating, why do we need to cook food and which is the best way to cook food so without any delay let us go to our so students let us now go through the topic we will be discussing today so in today's lesson we will be learning some rules for healthy eating why do we need to cook food precautions to be taken while cooking food and last topic will be which is the best way to cook food so as i have told you that in order to stay healthy you should eat balanced diet but apart from that we should follow some rules to stay healthy and fit so you can see in the slide rules are given so i'll be reading the rules first topic is the first point is drink at least 8 glass of water every day. So you need to drink 8 glass of water. Wash your hands before and after eating. That you all know that we need to wash our hands before and after eating. Always eat freshly cooked food. So we should eat freshly cooked food. Do not eat uncovered food. Those food which are the street food which are uncovered those food we shouldn't eat eat a balanced diet sorry eat a balanced food and plenty of fruits and vegetables so you know what is balanced food or balanced diet and you should be eating plenty of fruits and vegetables so you know that in fruits and vegetables minerals and vitamins are present next point do not eat too many sweets and chocolates eat meals at regular intervals you should be eating meals at regular intervals that is why you eat breakfast after that lunch dinner right so you have to eat meals at different intervals and regular intervals you shouldn't keep your empty stomach and the last point do not eat meal when you're upset so you shouldn't be eating meal while you're upset so the next topic we will be doing today is why do we cook food so as we all know that before eating food in fact almost all food should be cooked properly except some fruits and vegetables as cooking makes food soft easy to chew and tasty right so there are other reasons also for cooking the food so let us go to the slide where it is written the reason for cooking the food so the first reason is to kill harmful microbes that may cause food poisoning so there are different microorganisms which are present in the food so in order to kill those microorganisms we need to cook our food so the second point is to make the food easier to digest when you cook food it will be soft and it becomes easier to digest next point is to improve the flavor of the food so in order to make your food tasty and to enhance the flavor of the food you need to cook our food so the last one is to improve the texture of the food so in order to improve the texture of the food also foods are cooked so student the next topic we will be discussing is precautions to be taken while cooking food so there are certain precautions it is not a safety precaution but it is a precaution you need to be taking you need to take while cooking the food so the first precaution is do not soak vegetables for a long time so you shouldn't soak vegetables in water you know that you have seen your mamas or you have seen your uh, some people like the vegetables should be washed properly right so 
when the vegetables are washed it shouldn't be soaked in the water for long time why because while soaking vegetables in the water it will dissolve the vitamins and minerals that is present in the vegetables okay so you do not soak vegetables in water for long time so while cooking now the next topic is while cooking rice and other product water is added you must have seen that also so at that time correct proportion of water should be added while cooking the rice and other products so when you are like making dough of uh, uh, uh wheat also flour also at that time also the proportion of water or the amount proportion means amount of water should be added in correct proportion okay the next topic or the last topic we will be doing today is which is the best way to cook food so while cooking food let us go to the first point while cooking food it should be kept in mind that too much heat may destroy the vitamins present in the food so you should be cooking food in the correct manner if you keep like if you overcook the food it will destroy the vitamins present in the food so it should be kept in mind that the heat you are giving to your food it should be in correct manner so the next point is some fruits and vegetables may eat thin raw as heat changes their color and reduces the amount of vitamin so you know that you can't cook apple oranges right so because the vitamins which is present in the fruits they heat will change the color of your fruit and the vitamins will be like remove away from the food it will reduce the amount of vitamins that is present in the food so this two are the points which says the best way to cook the food first point says that while cooking too much heat shouldn't be given to the food as it may destroy the vitamins and the second point says that some fruits and vegetables may be eaten raw as heat can change their color and it will reduce the amount of vitamins present in the fruit now let us go to the assignment so the first assignment you will be doing is write and you have to learn the five rules for healthy eating what you have to do for healthy eating you have to write and learn five rules for that and second assignment is what happens if we eat uncooked food so if we are eating uncooked food what happens to you so these are the assignment see you in the next class till then stay safe and stay healthy students